All right, so today we're gonna be making jerky. Now, I've got this jerky meat that we just sliced up real thin, and we're gonna be making our jerky today in the dehydrator here. You can also do this in your oven, on a pellet grill, or on a smoker. We're gonna make the marinade, let it set for a while, and then put it in the dehydrator. The key step to making jerky is slicing. One thing you wanna think about, if you have a slicer, I like to slice it when it's partially frozen. So I'll do these at about a quarter inch. I've got a nice even consistency. If you don't have a slicer, a thin knife works really good, a fillet knife. This is whole muscle. Um, I went with the grain on some of it, or you could go against the grain. With the grain is gonna be a little bit chewier. Against the grain will be a little bit more tender. So here's some of our ingredients. We're gonna start out with a cup of teriyaki sauce, cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna go with a half a cup of brown sugar. Now I'm gonna grate this about inch and a half piece of ginger. Now liquid smoke, and then some black pepper. All right, got it all mixed up. Now I'm just gonna let it rest in the fridge for a little bit. You can go as much as overnight or four or five hours, and then we're gonna put it in the dehydrator and dry it out. All right, cool. It's been marinated, ready to put in our dehydrator. So we're just gonna put it on our racks and then get the dehydration process going. Just gonna spread it out, nice, thin, even spacing. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna set it on a high temperature, about 167 degrees, especially for the first part because we wanna get the meat up to temp while it's drying. All right, we're gonna check our jerky. Looks done. It's been about four hours for this. Oh yeah. Okay. Just gonna test it here. It's dry to my liking. It's pliable, but still kind of cracks when I open it. That's good. Teriyaki jerky. A little hint of garlic. Still wet, still sticky. That's gonna be really good. The final step for any homemade jerky is I put it in a vacuum seal bag or a bag, seal it and freeze it. Um, but before I freeze it, I'll let it rest in the fridge for a little bit so it retains its moisture. So you can either put it in a paper bag or vacuum seal it and stick it in the fridge for a day or so and then freeze it. This is really good. There we have it, venison jerky ready for the next hunt.